Uh, we all know the sound. We all know the scene. When you start seeing these red kettles pop up, it is time to step up. And of course, we are talking about the Salvation Army Red Kettle Campaign. We are happy to learn about its kickoff this afternoon with the help of Captain Matt Trantham. How are you, Cap? Hey, good, Jimmy. How are you? So this is the first time in a long time we've been able to talk face to face. You've done yeah. a lot of uh, Zoom interviews with us. We have. I've I've been able to you know make my skills really good online so that we still <laughs> look good with audio and visual. But I'm glad to be on the studio today. It's great. It is good to see you in-house yeah so your message this year is hope marches on yes hope marches on Tell that's me our about th it. so the theme of hope marches on you know we we live in a time when we're toward the end of a pandemic but it's still lingering um, and we just feel like the Salvation Army and our mission being the largest private distributor of social service uh, to the community and to the country we're doing everything we can to instill hope in people who otherwise don't have it. Yeah. Um, you know, this last year, particularly 2020, we saw a dramatic increase in a lot of things. Uh, in 2020, it was the highest year of overdoses in the U.S. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of people who were lacking hope in that realm. We have 62 million Americans that struggled just last week to, to cover everyday expenses. Oh uh, and then 63% of the U.S. lives paycheck to paycheck. So you can't tell me that we're not living in a time where people are lacking hope. Yeah. And even here on the Lower Eastern Shore, we have found that in the last year, we've distributed roughly half a million pounds of food, mostly to shut in seniors that didn't have the ability to get out. We've seen an increase in the amount of people that have come to the Salvation Army for financial assistance, right. for uh, programming, and we've done everything we can to step up and continue to meet that need. So hope marches on. So hope marches on. I yeah. know you can't give us any, any particular details, like names or things like that. I'm not mm -hmm. looking for that. A lot of people understand the goal of the Red Kettle. Mm -hmm. can, can, is there a story that you can think of that you can share with us uh, about the impact of what contributing to the Red Kettle does? It's amazing. I've seen a video a few years ago where someone put a dollar in or a coin in, and it's amazing how far that dollar or that coin will travel. Every little bit helps. Uh, everything from after school programming for kids. Uh, we have a place for kids to have swim lessons, you know, at our youth club on the, on the west side of town at the Richard Hazel Youth Club. We have financial assistance programs to help with rent, utilities, a food pantry. Wow. We have sports programs for kids so that they can be engaged in basketball, flag football, girls softball. Um, a senior program where we also have pickleball and I don't know if you've ever seen a 70 year old spike a pickleball and talk <laughs> trash afterward but we have it at the Salvation Army so there's something for everyone Salvation and there's Army does a lot. And, and there's a way for people to contribute and give back so that you know that when you give to the Salvation Army we're putting money to its maximum use right. and we do that by operating on a razor thin budget with our staff with our buildings and our programs and we okay. do it gladly so speaking of which does Salvation Army have a goal this year we do, and we technically announce the goal at our breakfast. Right. So I can't share it with you yet because I'll let the cat out of the bag, okay. and that won't be good. Right. Okay. But it's in the neighborhood of $140,000. Uh, so in that neighborhood, that's what we try to raise through the Red Kettle campaign. We also send mail out to people and try to get money that way. Uh, that's another way for people to contribute. And so in total, you know, it's probably roughly $230,000 that we're raising every year uh, through our Christmas campaign. That's incredible. Captain Matt Trantham with the uh, Salvation Army of the Lower Eastern Shore. Now, I've got to ask you, I'm out of time, but I gotta, mm -hmm. I, I'm not going to let you go yet. What is the wildest thing you've ever found in a red kettle? Oh, gosh. I have found a bullet. Um, I have had a tooth. <laughs> I've seen people's medicine. And they've actually called to ask for the medicine. I've also had a wedding ring. Really? An accidental wedding ring drop when I was in North Carolina. Uh, a gentleman dropped it in. He forgot that it was in his pocket. And he said, I can't go home without that ring. <laughs> I looked through the kettle and I said, sir, I don't see it. And I took it into the Walmart customer service area. He said, I'm telling you, I can't go home unless I have that ring. You don't understand. <laughs> so I went back and looked again, and I found it. Found and, it. and he was like, you just saved Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, well, I don't know. You know, so I've had a lot of weird things come in. Yeah. Fingernails, uh, women's 
fingernails that like are fake. Yeah. Like fake ones. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 We probably should have just stopped with the wedding ring. I, yeah, think I know. That was, that I know. Was, I've had story. lots of random stuff. I'll take pictures of it and post it on Facebook. It's <laughs> hilarious the stuff that comes in there sometimes. Captain Matt yeah. Trantham, thank you for everything that you do and we look forward to helping you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.